today on X Play. Yeah. Turn the key. Spin the globe. And throw a parade. Take a look at yourself. It's game time. <laughs> to X Play. Yes, sirree, and we got an episode for you today. It's pure white motion sensitive goodness as we spend the entire episode making sweet, sweet love to the Nintendo Wii. Or at least reviewing some games for it. Games like WarioWare Smooth Moves, taking the most interactive party game series of all time and putting it on the most interactive console of all time. And we'll take a look at the best and worst of the Wii Virtual Console. Later in the show, we've got our review of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, one of the best games for a console that's got a lot of good games. We begin with the party game my co-host just referenced some moments ago. In a world full of people complaining about short attention spans and students who can't find the United States on a map of the United States, it's nice to have at least one game that doesn't bust their chops. It respects you for who you are, and it changes subject every five seconds or so. Here's WarioWare Smooth Moves. If you're like most of our audience, you probably love watching these beautiful ladies play WarioWare Smooth Moves for the Wii. Well, you're out of luck, because that's all the footage Nintendo sent us. So, for the rest of the review, you'll have to settle for watching this guy play with his Wii. We're sorry. But we're not sorry to report that no matter who plays it, the latest installment in the WarioWare franchise is a ton of fun. The motion-sensitive controller is the perfect match for this collection of super-quick minigames. Smooth Move is all about deep character development and rich, epic storylines. Oh wait, that's actually never what these games are about. But there is still a plot. You see, a long time ago, the Wii Remote was a mysterious pointing device that everyone coveted. Years later, when his junk food gets stolen, Wario stumbles upon the ancient artifact, or as it's called here, the Form Baton. Hold the Form Baton straight, with the tip pointing forward. Um, is it my imagination, or is the narrator hitting on me? Perfecting this dance requires grace, steadiness, and tight shorts. There are lots of different ways to hold the wand, and Smooth Moves uses all of them. There's the remote where you simply point it at the screen, or the waiter, where you hold it like a tray, or the elephant, where you pretend that it's an enormous nose. We're sorry to report that there's no Gerard Depardieu minigames included. <laughs> there are a lot of compilations for the Wii, but when it comes to sheer variety, WarioWare is still the best around. Over 200 minigames are yours for the play. You heard us right, over 200. Now granted, most of them are over pretty quick, like this game where you skewer meat for some random buff dude, or this round of domestic violence where you shove Japanese girls onto their butts. However, there are some meatier boss levels, like this brain-teasing stacking puzzle, or this challenging boxing match, or even a psychedelic dance-off. Yeah, it would be really nice to have those Japanese girls back now. For you hardcore Nintendo nerds, and we know there are several in the audience, there are some games you're bound to love, like this appearance by Samus Aran, or this canine cameo by the Nintendo. Where the game really shines is the robust multiplayer mode. Our intern only had one friend to invite over, but the game supports up to 12. Best of all, you only need one controller, which you pass around frantically each turn. Ritual humiliation is the order of the day. Make no mistake about it. This is a game that is designed to make you look stupid. And boy, does it ever work. Two gripes hold us back from greatness. The game is simply too short. You can unlock almost every challenge in an afternoon. If brevity is the soul of wit, WarioWare Smooth Moves is goddamned hysterical. We had some trouble with the Wii Remote when it came to precise movement. The game works best when you're playing rough. All right, time to zip things up. Overall, this is the perfect demo for proud new Wii owners and a great purchase for those who just want to practice their squats. WarioWare Smooth Moves gets four nose picks out of five. The WarioWare series 
Music has produced some of the best games with booger-related jokes of all time. If you're in the mood to try out some of Nintendo's earlier games, be they booger-related or not, they're offering a new service, the Wii Virtual Console. Here's a look at the best games the Virtual Console has to offer. By now, most of you have beaten Twilight Princess, bowled numerous frames Wii Sports Bowling, and created a plethora of memes. If you're tapped out of Wii sources and have some Wii points to spare, we've got a roundup of the best virtual console games that should be added to your array of Wii channels. A billion years ago, circa 1990, on a little-known console known as the TurboGrafx-16, there was a little Neanderthal kid with a huge head named Bonk. Bonk's adventure was one of the first 16-bit platformers around, and his name suggests he went around hitting enemies with his head. He was Zinedine Zidane, 16 years before there was a Zinedine Zidane. If you ever wonder what the TurboGrafx-16 was capable of, or if you're all about 90s headbanging, then this is the game to download. Next on our list is Sonic the Hedgehog. Believe it or not, the blurry blue furry was so good he rivaled Mario during the 16-bit console wars. His high speed and puzzle-like elements made it one of the most challenging and fun 16-bit platformers out there. If you don't own one of the many Sega Sonic collections or want to reminisce about Sonic's good old days, then this is one fast-paced platformer that shouldn't be passed up. If you own an SNES, then you know that The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past is a must. Returning to the top-down format of the original Zelda, A Link to the Past puts us in control of a pink-haired Link. Yes a pink-haired Link. But what makes this Zelda so special is that it's the blueprint of all Zelda games to follow. The gadgets, dungeons, and storylines of all Zelda games after pretty much derive from this installment of the Zelda series, making it a legend itself. If you're looking for a challenging but fun racer, then it's all about Mario Kart 64. The Mario Kart series has been one of Mario's most flawless franchises to date. Ten times bigger and better than the original, a plethora of challenging courses, wacky weaponry, and the capability to handle four players makes it the best party game downloadable for the Wii. Last but not least, Super Mario 64. The premier game for the Nintendo 64 made Nintendo's poster boy soar to new heights by transforming him from a 2D character to a free-roaming, free-flying 3D character. This polygonal portobello plumber was the first of its kind and set the standard for all 3D platformers to come. Now with the ability to run in 480p, this classic has a new life, making it one of the best downloads available. Here we go! So if you're looking for the best virtual console games around, don't say I didn't warn you on how to spend those Wii points wisely. So many games, so many old friends. One Wii. Enjoy. While five bucks for a game is pretty cheap, a lot of people have criticized Nintendo for charging that much for games that essentially cost nothing to produce. Also, Japan is getting a much bigger slate of titles on their virtual console than here in the United States. They're opening up here in the U.S. with about 15 NES and Genesis titles and six Super NES games. They're releasing a few more every week. I would resent this if it weren't for the fact that I, as Adam alluded to earlier, have no attention span and need regular reminders that something exists to take advantage of it. Good on you, Nintendo. Up next, the worst of the Wii Virtual Console on X-Play. to change what you're about to change your future look at my boy mario he turned his love for everything tech into a sweet career how do you do it devry university mario logged on to devrycis03.com and received his free career guide that's when he found out devry offered a wide range of program tracks so he could focus on what interested him most 
like using computers to help solve crimes or protect online information. So Mario earned his bachelor's degree in computer information systems, and he did it in just three years. DeVry's classes are small and feature a hands-on learning style. So Mario knew he'd be getting all he needed to get ahead. And because DeVry is accredited like the top state universities, he got respect from the people who matter most, the ones hiring. Why not hook yourself up with what it takes to succeed and change everything without changing yourself? Call or log on now to DeVryCIS03.com. But hurry, classes start soon. DeVry University. The critics are raving about Attack of the Show. <laughs> TV Guide declares it's on weeknights at 7. <laughs> Olivia Munn is the co-host, shouts Daily Variety. And the Chicago Tribune cheers, it's a show. With reviews like these, isn't it time you checked out Attack of the Show, tonight at 7, only on G4. A sad, sad man. It's Adam Sessler. Welcome back to Action Play. Before the break, we showed you the very best stuff on the Wii Virtual Console. But for every out of sight, there is a monster-in-law. There's also an angel eye and an enough. The world is full of crap, especially the world of Jennifer Lopez movies. But even in a sphere as delightful as Nintendo games, there are some losers. Here's a look at the worst of the Wii Virtual Console. When I think of the Virtual Console, I think hot dogs. Yes, a lot of good things go into a hot dog, as well as other barely edible components. When stacking out its allotment of weekly games, Nintendo throws in a couple of turkeys to fill out the list. Be thankful you have X-Play to help you mechanically separate the beef from the spindly sinew. Up first on the chopping block, Pinball. As one of the launch games for the NES, Pinball doesn't age as well as the other games on the list, with its slow and often repetitive mechanics. Oh look, a bit of excitement! Quick, someone call Perez Hilton. This situation requires the mentality of a teenage boy with the penmanship of a third grader. Awesome. Urban Champion just goes to remind us how far we've come in gang violence. I haven't had this much girly street slapping since Leonardo DiCaprio took on the gangs of New York. The resolution comes from your opponent plummeting down an open sewer as onlookers from above shower you with confetti out of their chest. Soccer. Even with David Beckham and his beautiful wife stateside, no one cares about soccer, let alone NES soccer. Players trot wildly around the left, center, and newly added right screen. And then there's Xevious, the endless shooter only an otaku could love. Let me show you around the place. Water, tank, rings, squiggly things, a sense of fun. No way, that's not in this version of the game. And then there's Donkey Kong. Oh, let's remember that when Donkey Kong came out in the arcade, you were about, I don't know, gestation. You were all about Cilia back then. I used to be into Cilia, but then I hit 32 cells. The original Donkey Kong is part of our gaming heritage, as well as cheap knockoffs. This swings in from the NES version, not the beloved arcade. This version includes one, two, three, four, strike that. The NES version lets you play only three of the four stages from the original version. And there you have it, the gristle from the gold. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go get a salad. This look at the worst games on the Wii Virtual Console probably has you excited about watching crap. At least we assume that because it's the only logical explanation for the fact that the dog whisperer still outranks us on iTunes podcast ratings. Yeah. If you want high-quality video game review programming that just might have a joke about a Canadian author Margaret Atwood in it, you should download our podcast. But if you're comfortable getting tripe, please, please continue downloading The Dog Whisperer. Unless you want actual tripe, in which case the Splendid Table from Minnesota Public Radio has some very good recipes for organ meat. In conclusion, download us. Coming up, it's me on X-Play. If you've got 60 seconds, I've got the truth. This is a Morgan Minute. You'd think guys wouldn't be into it. I mean, can you get any more cartoony? The crowd is made up of pink and blue dots. There's no fielding to speak of. The runners don't even have any legs. Yet do forget their adults and can't help falling in love with Wii Sports. The perfect party game. 
quickly learned but not easily mastered. And this is where the injuries come in. Nintendo warns you whenever possible to put on the wrist strap and for God's sake, try not to hurt yourself. But despite our nonchalant response to dire warnings, so far I haven't actually seen any sweat slippery Wiimotes flung precipitously towards the TV in the tense excitement of Wii Bowling. I mean, I'd say if your hands are too sweaty to hold onto the controller, dry them on your jeans and keep on keeping on. I'm Morgan, and that was my minute. How can it be offensive if it's true? Okay, first of all, I'm not 100% in love with your tone right now. Tone aside, historically, you guys have struggled to adapt. Yeah, right. Walking upright, discovering fire, inventing the wheel, laying the foundation for all mankind. You're right. Good point. Sorry we couldn't get that to you sooner. Connie, your reaction? Sounds like someone woke up on the wrong side of the rock. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. It is not just the strength to learn, but the strength to teach. Not just the strength to follow, but the strength to lead. It is not just the strength to wake up your life, but the strength to live out your dreams. There's strong, and then there's Army strong. To learn more about the Army's 150 different career opportunities, visit GoArmy.com strong. Ready? Let the next Virtua Fighter tournament begin. Skillful combos. Precise control. Attack and react with power and grace. 17 champions can win. One will. Virtua Fighter 5, the new look of real fighting. Rated T for teen. Admit it, the best things in life are free. Like this cool new Xbox 360. Everyone wants one, and best of all, you get yours free. That's right, free. Look, if you're over 18, just go to tvfreexbox.com. Enter your email and shipping info, click on a few amazing offers, and then follow the redemption and eligibility requirements, and your free Xbox 360 will be shipped directly to you. It's that easy. Don't believe it? All right, check out the website for details. Go to tvfreexbox.com now. I've got to get a better job. Fat chance, not without a degree. How can I get a degree? I'd have to quit this lousy job to go back to school. Hi, Helen. I earned my degree online while I was in your job. Stop by my office. <laughs> Getting my degree online was a great experience, but finding the right school was a nightmare. Now it's so easy, thanks to Education Connections Free Service. Give them a try. What have you got to lose? You just fill out a simple profile online or on the phone. We search our database of hundreds of accredited schools and thousands of online degree programs, selecting only those that offer financial aid to qualified students. Then, like a magnet, your profile attracts the choices that are the best match for you. With so many opportunities available, Education Connection makes finding the right school easy. Let Education Connection find the right school for you. It's free. So call 1-800-814-4985 or log on to goedconnect.com. It's Associate Justice of the Supreme Court, Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. Now, ontology is the school of philosophy that's concerned with the nature of self. My favorite kind of philosophy because, of course, I'm fascinating. All my opinions are right and my stories surprisingly interesting. Luckily, the Nintendo Corporation agrees. With the Wii, they've given us the opportunity to create another self inside the console. So here's our look at the me. The world of the me is a strange place. Sculpted by the hand of the user, the most basic of tools are used to craft these avatars, giving them expression and form. Just before their birth, they will be assigned a color and given a name. Then, with a few quick clicks, Bill is born and placed into the empty, lifeless void of the Me Plaza. At first, the plaza is a lonely place. Bill will wander slowly through this new world, finding nothing but himself and the music. The music is the only joy Bill will know, but within minutes, the desperately sweet tune will grow irritating. Even with the fixed smile and the unchanging expression, 
If you look closely, you can see the madness in Bill's eyes. At first, Bill is simply poked, forcing his head to grow large and small, large and small. Then, like a wild animal, Bill is grabbed by the hand of the user and lifted high in the air. Bill struggles to be free, violently thrashing at the hand of his creator. But the user has total control. Bill may feel alone and abused now, but soon he will be forgotten as the user continues to create more and more needs. Some will look like monsters. Some will look like aliens. Others could be famous artists, but no matter what, they will all be cute. Even the me Hitler will cry out with his adorably sad face and completely inappropriate existence. Like a school of retarded fish, these mini wee avatars patrol the me plaza in a constant state of existential crisis. But it brings no joy to Bill. He is now just one of many. Forced to stand in a line and play Wii Sports for the amusement of the user. Right. Even when the user demands a Mii parade, Bill cannot join. He must remain in the plaza, constantly waiting. This will go on until the end of the Wii or until the fateful day the user becomes tired of Bill and erases him from existence. But the rest will not notice. They will continue to roam the Mii Plaza, searching for a purpose and a meaning. I'm concerned about the constant exposure to high levels of cuteness we're getting from the Wii. Science on the matter is inconclusive, but dealing with that much concentrated cuteness on a regular basis cannot be healthy. Look at the Japanese. There's clearly something wrong with them, and I say Hello Kitty is clearly to blame. If you're concerned about your cuteness exposure levels, just know that the one proven antidote to cute exposure is watching America and the Chorus on C-SPAN 2. Moments away, it's The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess on X-Play. Attention all gamers, X-Play is now interactive and in prime time. Join Adam and Morgan for game reviews, live on-screen chat, and video viewer mail. Weeknights at 8, only on G4. This is Maya, and if she doesn't look too happy, she isn't. Maya, like many people, has too much credit card debt. How about you? Do you have five, ten, fifteen, or even $25,000 or more in credit card debt? Are your creditors harassing you at all hours? Are you tired of going through life feeling like Maya? I'm Todd Cook founder of 800 Credit Card Debt. Day in and day out, we help people just like Maya, regular people who got in over their heads in credit card debt and want their lives back on track. At 800 Credit Card Debt, we'll help you find a payoff plan you can live with, one that could work with your creditors to eliminate penalties, lower your interest rates, and even reduce what you owe. Don't let the word bankruptcy enter your thoughts. Call us, because you can pay off your credit cards and still have money left over each month. And the best part is, you'll feel like yourself again. Maya did. Make the call today. Get rid of your credit card debt once and for all. Call 1-800-316-3094. Don, is that you? How are you? Where are you working? Still there. Same old job. That's baby Ben. I'm fine. What happened? You never came back to work. I went back to school and finished my master's degree online while I was home with Ben. Mommy's the vice president. I wish I could afford to quit my lousy job and go back to school. You don't have to quit. That's the beauty of getting a degree online. I'll never find the right school. The more research I do, the more confused I get. Oh, the HR director at work suggested you use Education Connection. Education Connection is an amazing free service that does all the work for you. We search hundreds of accredited universities and colleges and thousands of programs so you don't have to. We make finding the right school easy. Dawn, is that you? You never came back to work. Moved up to corporate after I got my degree online. Let Education Connection find the right school for you. It's free. So call 1-800-814-4583 or log on to goedconnect.com. Tonight on Attack of the Show, we've taken all this week's crazy events and wrapped them into one discussion. It's the loop. And we've got the motorcycle tech to keep you safe and styling on two wheels on AOTS hardware. 
It's Attack of the Show tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. Three and two in league play. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X Play. A couple of months ago, when the PS3 and the Wii launched, we were waiting for a game that was worth all the hype. Launch titles are often problematic, and anytime you revisit a classic franchise, you run the risk of screwing stuff up. But luckily, in this case, that was not a problem. Here's a review of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. It's been too long since we've heard that sound. Meet The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Princess finds Link slumming it, but an evil force called the Twilight has to screw it all up. Suddenly the lives of the good folk of Hyrule hang in the balance. If only they hadn't cut defense thunder. Life is hard out here for a Hyrulean pimp. Monsters cruise the hood, Zelda has lost her party girl status, and Link gets turned into a wolf. You'll walk the lonely road of puzzles. Unexplored lands and Mortal Kombat is only a Zelda game can. The wolf form of our hero of time has learned some new tricks. His wolf senses can sniff out buried treasures or track characters by scent. Link's canine self is part of a greater animal motif, from spanking a giant baboon to conversing with chickens. The Legend of Zelda has peddled the same items from game to game for nigh on two decades. Twilight Princess manages to reinvent these tried and true tools. Let me just say, iron boots plus magnetic rock equals awesome. Link has been schooled in the ways of badassery since his last outing. His sword work is vicious, including a kill move that is so, so satisfying. Give Ganon a message. Tell him I'm coming for him and hell's coming with me. The graphics are the chink in Twilight Princess's armor. It looks about as good as a high-end GameCube game. A stark difference from the next-gen graphical power the PS3 and 360 are vomiting forth. Bro. Somebody at Nintendo has seen Lord of the Rings several hundred times because Twilight Princess brings a Peter Jacksonian epicness to The Legend of Zelda. The game is long, with upwards of 40 hours of gameplay. There are tons of side quests to explore, and Hyrule's square mileage is large enough to make the Louisiana purchase blush. Nintendo has pulled off gaming on a grand scale. If you need some man Link lovin', Twilight Princess is the game you've been waiting for. Sword play, sniffing, switch work, it's got it all. Even a baboon smacking its own ass. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess gets a five. Out of five. I'm in the mood for an X-Play replay simply because I'm near me. Wario wears smooth moves, got a four out of five, because the short attention span action is nice on a handheld, but it gets old quickly on a console. And The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess got a five out of five because it is a brilliant addition to a brilliant franchise. Why don't we look at some good old-fashioned video viewer mail? Hey Adam and Morgan, my name is Anthony Cahill from New Bedford, Massachusetts. I just want to know if GameCube and PlayStation 2 games are going to stop being made because just because the Wii and the PlayStation 3 are out. That's a good question, Anthony. Now, while production will probably scale back and developers focus more on the new consoles, there will definitely be new PS2 games coming out into next year. Yeah, and there's some quality titles too, like God of War 2 is scheduled for release later in the spring. That's something to keep PS2 owners from making self-destructive gestures. But Microsoft has basically stopped making Xbox games and consoles, so please feel free to stick a fork in your Xbox. Mm, that's what I'll do with it. So a few more GameCube games will probably trickle out, but the Cube has, for all intents and purposes, rung down the curtain and joined the choir invisible. So for last-gen consoles, the PS2 is really your best bet. Beyond God of War 2, they also got Burnout Dominator and Donna Mana coming out this year, both of which show lots of potential. It's interesting the people who remain committed to a console after it's gone to live with Jesus. Like, there are still Dreamcast games being released in Japan. The group of people still obsessed with Dreamcast games are popularly known as shut-ins. Mm -hmm. And the only console to really last past its successor is the Game Boy Advance. New games still come out, and they're still pretty good. It does help that they work on the DS. Yeah, so I guess the lesson is that the only way a console will last like that is if it sold millions upon millions of units. 
which is essentially the situation the PS2 is in right now. It sold an astounding number of consoles last Christmas when everything else was launching. So the PS2 may continue to have a string of games coming out for it. Because every human being in America already owns one. Yep. And the PS3 is backwards compatible. I think that we've uh, completed all of our X-Play-related duties for today. What do you think? I think we have. I think that we're done now.